This guide shows you how to download an app which allows you to block and unblock Edge. Now you might be thinking, why do I want to block Edge? Well, apparently the reason this program was written because the developer got a email from one of their followers to say that uh, his child can use Edge in a restricted account and he didn't want his child from using Edge. It might well be the case that you uh, are an admin for a company and you don't want your employees to use Edge. There, there's thousands of reasons, but uh, not only that, but when you di uh, block access to Edge, this also stops updates to Edge as well. So what you've got to bear in mind, if you still want access to the internet, then you should have another browser installed on your system, such as Chrome, Firefox, Opera, Brave browser, etc. And also, you must ensure that you've got a PDF reader on there if you read PDFs, such as Adobe Reader, or you can set Google Chrome to read PDFs as well. But I would recommend downloading Adobe Reader on there to read your PDFs. So first of all, if you don't have Adobe Reader, open up a browser and go to the address bar right at the top of the screen, not the search bar in the middle of the screen, but the address bar right at the top of the screen. Click in there, delete out anything that might be in it and type adobe.com forward slash reader. That's adobe.com forward slash reader then press enter or return on your keyboard. It will then take you to your local website for Adobe Reader. And what I would recommend is, is make sure these McAfee boxes are unticked and also make sure that uh, install the Acrobat Reader Chrome extension is also unticked. So what you wanna do is you wanna move your mouse over download Acrobat Reader just there not download Acrobat Pro Trial, but download Acrobat Reader. Left click once on that, and then it will start to download. I'm just gonna scroll up the page there, so it says it's initializing at the moment. Hopefully won't take too long. And it's now downloaded just at the bottom of the screen there, but I'm just gonna come out of my browser here, just gonna click on the cross just up here. Click on any yellow folder that I can see on the screen there. Click on Downloads, and we should see in there there's a Reader DC and then some numbers and uh, some letters after it. So double left click on that, and then move your mouse over yes, left click once. Wait for Adobe to install. Now this bit might take a bit of time. It really depends on the speed of your internet connection and your computer. So just be patient with it. It's quite a large download. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pause this video and we'll come back to it in a moment. So it's changed from downloading to installing now. Again, this bit might take a bit of time. Just be patient with it. And here we go, it's now finished installing. So just make sure that Launch Adobe Acrobat Reader DC is ticked there and then left click on Finish. And Adobe Acrobat DC is now loading. Now, please bear in mind, this takes a bit of time. It is quite a hefty program. So I'm just gonna pause this and we'll come back to it once it's loaded. And it has now loaded. After a while, you'll get this message come up on the screen saying make Adobe Acrobat my default application. Move your mouse over yes, left click once, and then this screen will start to load again. Might take a bit of time. And there we go. Once this loads up, just move your mouse over continue and left click once. And then when this box appears, move your mouse over change and left click once. And then from this list here, left click Adobe Acrobat DC. Then move your mouse over OK and left click once. And there you go. So it should say opens with Adobe Acrobat DC. Move your mouse over apply, left click once, move your mouse over OK and left click once. And then we can just close this down. So just click on the cross 
just up there in the top right hand corner of this box and then click on the cross in the top right hand corner just up there and then we can click on the cross just up there to close this down as well and we can also close that down at the same time so as I say, the other thing we need to do is if we do want to access the internet on this computer, we do need to ensure that we've got a, another browser on there, such as Chrome, Firefox, Brave or Opera. The choice is yours. Just go to their website using the browser and download and install the browser. Once you've done that, then what we need to do is we need to open one of the other browsers that we've downloaded. So I'm going to open Google Chrome and we're going to download the Edge Blocker now. So once Google Chrome has loaded or your browser has loaded, go to the address bar right at the top of the screen, not the search bar in the middle of the screen, but right at the top of the screen. Click in there, delete out anything that might be in it and then type S-O-R-D-U-M dot org. So that's S O R dum.org then press enter or return on your keyboard this website should now appear and all we need to do is we just need to scroll down on the right hand side here under our software you should see there edge blocker so move your mouse over edge blocker left click once okay and then this page will load scroll down and go all the way down to the bottom here and you're looking for this gray and black download button. Um, there are a few adverts on this page. So the way you find out which one it is, just move your mouse over the download button. Okay, and it should come up edge blocker download just beside your mouse there. But it is the gray and black download button, not any other download button. Move your mouse over that, left click once. An advert may come up here, just close the advert. But it says here, that uh, edge blocker download should start automatically and as I can see there in the bottom left hand corner of the screen it's downloading okay it's now downloaded I can tell that because the numbers have disappeared under edge block so I'm just going to close down the browser by clicking on the cross in the top right hand corner of the screen click on any yellow folder on the screen and then click on downloads and then we should see in our downloads list there edge block Move your mouse over edge block, click the right mouse button and then you'll get this menu appear. Move your mouse over extract all, click the left mouse button and then move your mouse over extract and again click the left mouse button and uh, it will now extract the files from the zip file that you've just downloaded. So as you can see here we've got the edge block folder so just double left click on edge block and uh, we've got a few options here. We can either run edge block there, which is if you're running a 32-bit system, or edge block underscore x64 if you're running a 64-bit system. Now, how do you tell what type of system you're running? Easiest way to do this on Windows 10 is to click on the start button, click on the settings cog just there, and then when this screen appears, just type about, and then after a while underneath about you should see about your PC move your mouse over that left click once and you'll get some information appear and one of the bits of information there by system type it'll actually tell you whether it's a 64 bit operating system or a 32 bit operating system move your mouse over the cross just up there close it down and as you can see mine did have on there it was a 64 bit operating system so I'm going to click on X edge block underscore x64 if it said 32 bit then i would just click on edge block so just going to double left click on edge block x64 okay so it comes up with this warning here saying windows protected your pc what it is this file itself it's uh, not got any viruses in it but they're just saying it's not a very popular file not many people have downloaded it, so they just want to you to double check that you're okay with running this on your PC. So if you are, move your mouse over more info, left click once, and then move your mouse over run anyway, and left click once. You'll then get this message coming up saying, do you want to allow this app from an unknown publisher to make changes to your device? Well, as long as it says edge block there, or edge blocks underscore x64.exe, then it's okay to move your mouse over yes and left click once. 
So pretty simple this. We've got two buttons on here. We've got block and unblock. So if we want to block Microsoft Edge, just move your mouse over block, left click once, and after a couple of seconds, the Edge icon there becomes grayed out. Okay, and if I try and go into Microsoft Edge there, so I'll just double click that, it won't load. I can click on that down there, won't load. If I click on the start button there and try and click on Edge in there, again, won't load. So uh, if I want to unblock it, then I just do the same thing. Click unblock there. OK, and I try and open Microsoft Edge and this time it will load up. So if you're not planning to have any browsers on the PC, then make sure that you save this folder that's in your downloads folder here called Edge Block on a USB stick or an external hard drive so that if you do ever need to unblock Microsoft Edge, you can put it back on the PC and uh, you can unblock it. But the next step is I'm just gonna close this down. So I've, uh, I've blocked Microsoft Edge, so I'm just gonna click block on there. Okay, click on the cross just up there. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna delete these two edge blocks here. So going to click on edge block there and then click on delete just up here and then click yes and I'm going to click on this edge block here click delete and then click yes and just going to close these windows down by clicking on the cross and next thing I need to do is I need to empty the recycle bin because obviously they've gone in the recycle bin so I'm going to right click on the recycle bin and left click empty recycle bin and when it says are you sure you want to per permanently delete these x amount of items move your mouse over yes left click once okay and that's gone that means now that nobody can browse the web using microsoft edge like i say if i want to because i've still got other browsers on my system i can go back into one of the other browsers re-download the app on there so let's just do that so I'm just going to go into the website again so that's sordum.org press enter or return on the keyboard once I've typed that in the address bar at the top and I'm just going to go down on the right here and there we go edge blocker there so I'm going to left click on edge blocker and I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to find that black and gray icon there, move my mouse over it, and then after a couple of seconds, there you go, it says Edge Blocker Download. Left click on Download, and hopefully in a few seconds, Edge Blocker will start to download. And there we go, it's downloading. And I'm just waiting, that's it, for those numbers to disappear. I'm gonna click on the cross just up there, click on any yellow folder there, click on Downloads. I'm gonna right click on Edge Block, move the mouse over extract tool, left click on extract tool, move the mouse over extract, left click once on extract, and then double click on edge block there. And uh, depending on, let's like say, whether I've got a 32-bit system or a 64-bit system, I'm gonna click on whatever's appropriate. Well, it's a 64-bit system for me, so I'm gonna double click on that. Okay, I'm gonna click on more info there, and then I'm gonna click on run anyway. And uh, then I'm gonna click on yes when the security window appears. So there we go, I'm gonna move the mouse over, yes, left click once, and there we go, I can move the mouse over, unblock there, and then that will restore Microsoft Edge. Let's just give it a try, there we go. And it's now working once again. So, I'm gonna click on the cross there just to close it down, and uh, it's optional now whether you wanna keep that edge block in your downloads folder or move it elsewhere, stick it on a pen drive, whatever you want to do, you can uh, you can do that. But delete one of those edge block folders there, preferably the one with the little gray zip down it. That's the zip file. You can move your mouse over that, left click once and then left click on delete and then left click yes to say you want to send it to the recycle bin. Close down these windows here and uh, right click on recycle bin and left click empty recycle bin then left click yes and there you go so at the moment i've still got it in my downloads folder on the pc so i can choose to block and unblock 
Microsoft Edge. So there you go, that guide showed you a quick and easy way of basically blocking or unblocking Microsoft Edge. Hope this guide helps and thank you very much for watching. You can follow me on Twitter at CWTech, that's at CWTech on Twitter. And don't forget to check out my other videos in my YouTube channel, just Google Chris Wait YouTube. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for your support.